Hello everybody and welcome all Assassin's Creed fans. Today we will be talking about pirates. But before we will go there, one more thing. As you have noticed, last time my computer got ill. It got virus in the middle of recording. And as a result, I forgot one collector's edition for Assassin's Creed 3. So that one will be first on my list today. And after that, we can go finally to the Pirates. Here it is, limited steelbook edition. It just contains steelbook and two lithographs. And this time not even in some kind of additional envelope. Just put directly on the side of the steelbook. And again, Europe and Australia only. No steelbook for you, North America. Just for them. With that one off the list, we can start. Let's go! First of them is one and only North American release for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag so-called limited edition. It contains, as those editions usually do, soundtrack and the hardcover art book. In addition, there was a nice statue of Edward Kinway and a big pirate flag. All that neatly packed in a nice simple box and on the back side of that box was a very cool picture. I would love to see that one on any kind of steel book or some kind of lithographs. Sadly, this is the only one that we got. And since they were so hard on America in the past, you also got a limited steel book. That also means that we can actually move to Europe. And let's start with the cheapest option. And the cheapest option for you was Black School Edition. From now on, we will see these options popping practically for every release. The idea is simple. Take a box or metal steel case, like here, put there soundtrack, hardcover art book, and sometimes some additional small stuff. In this case, it was additional envelope with two lithographs. That will make you your budget-friendly collector edition. If you wanted something bigger, like a small statue or figurine to complete your collection, you would go either for Buccaneer edition or for Black Chest edition. So the Buccaneer edition was Europe, Australia, and just like that limited edition from North America, it also contained hardcover art book and a soundtrack. But instead of a cool pirate flag, it got two lithographs in an envelope. The very same one that you could get in Black School Edition. Despite that the box didn't look bad, I would say that this time North American box definitely wins. And sadly it is more or less the last time it would happen. From now on, we will see as Ubisoft will take over distribution of all limited collector's editions, or almost all, which means that if they decide Europe only, then it will be Europe, if they decide America only, then it will be America. Sad but true. Black Chest Edition was the one that you really wanted to have if you were a full-fledged collector. It had the same looking Edward Kenway statue, but this time there was also the front part of the ship included. It had the Black School Edition packed in. Additionally, to be canvas, you could find the same pictures on that European steelbook as well. The big senior pirate flag. Yes, that's how the flags look after years and years of usage. And also a big map of the world. This was something that you need to have. 
which meant for American collectors to find ways how to order from Europe. Nice, Ubisoft. Thank you very much! In those last ditches of effort, he also got a special Italian Corsair edition, which was nothing more and nothing less than the Black School edition plus the Spyglass. But it was all packed in a nice bigger box. So this is one of those last editions from local retailers that you will ever see. Because we are in the pirate time, we will also add one more game. And I would say a very decent game. Assassin's Creed Rogue. It was more or less black flag, but done by Templars. And this one, being the black sheep of the family, only got one collector edition whatsoever. That's correct. It's just a box with hardcover art book, soundtrack and three lithographs. At least we got something, there were others that were not so lucky. Liberation or Chronicles. With this we can jump right into honorable and dishonorable picks. First there was something reported to be Wilkinson edition, but that was not a collector edition, that was a press kit. A special one, yes, but still a press kit, because it was only delivered to selected people, in this case YouTubers or reporters, so it's not a collector edition that a normal collector could get. Secondly, there is something called Black Book. It was supposed to be so-called carton book, not a steel book, from a local retailer from Sweden and Denmark, but I have problem with this one. I was unable to track it on internet. Maybe I was just using wrong way how to track it down. Anyway, at the same time I have only seen one set of photos on one of them somebody having seven or eight of these books. That is highly unusual, so I suspect that this might be actually fan-made type of carton book. If you know more about this edition, do not hesitate and comment about it below. And last, at the end, we have Japanese, again, Famitsu DX edition. And the last Japanese Famitsu DX that I could track as well. And again, just like the last time, I couldn't find any kind of outer box. Nevertheless, it was just supposed to contain the game and the statue of that other Edward Kinway. This time holding two pistols. And if you want it, you can buy the Blackbird statue with it. And that more or less close all editions for Black Flag. At least all that I have found. Which means that next time for my Halloween special we will go through the game that was the nightmare for Ubisoft. Assassin's Creed Unity. And after that we will also talk about Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Seeing as I am slowly advancing to more and more recent games, do not forget that you can comment what do you want to cover in the future. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a like, do not forget to subscribe and you can also comment if you have any of these editions and what do you think about them. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye!